Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Array Methods 4 in part 2 of Module 1. So we're going to write a method called get elements, get all elements but first. So give it an array, get all elements but first, returns an array with all the elements but the first. Now we just went over slice. There's another method that could help us out with this called shift, which is going to get rid of the first element of an array. But for now, it doesn't appear that they want us to care about that. And we just went over slice, so we could probably just use slice. So as we recall, slice is going to return a copy of the array. So we can say return array.slice. And if we did zero, this is going to slice the entire array. So essentially, we just want to start at one. That's going to start before the first index and go to the end of the array, which looks like it's going to be all of the elements in the array except for the first. And we're correct. Get all elements but last is going to be a similar option or a similar operation, but slice works a little differently. It starts cutting before the beginning parameter and before the end parameter. So it includes the first one, but it doesn't include the second parameter. What that means is that we need the second parameter to be the value of the last index or the index of the, of the last index in the array. So as we recall, last index is conveniently the length of the array minus one. Then we can return a call to slice, array.slice, from the beginning of the array, which would be zero, to just before the last index, which we've now declared as last index. So that's going to slice the array from basically here to here, or just before the last element, we should say. So we run tests, and we're good. Remove from front. OK, so that was when they're introducing the shift method. So it says, given an array, remove from front returns the given array with its first element removed. Interesting. I feel like there should be a note about how you shouldn't be creating a new copy of the array, but maybe the tests for this one don't mention that. So let's operate under the assumption that we're going to just use shift and, and go from there. So let's go back to our Mozilla developer network, type in shift. We're talking about arrays here, so we want to find the array prototype.shift. Array method removes the first element from an array and re returns that removed element. So we're not going to call array.shift and return that. We're going to call array.shift and then we're going to return the array. So let me get rid of this your code here. So we'll say array.shift and this will get rid of the first element and then we'll return the input array. And we're in good shape. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next video.